So some of you have probably downloaded the Adobe Photoshop CC 2015.5 update. That's the fifth update to the software they released in 2015, even though it's 2016. I would presume that this could continue to work like this um, in the future, but there is a new way to refine the edges of a mask that you're creating or a selection that you've created. Anytime you click on a selection tool, and it doesn't matter which one, can be quick select like we show usually with this video, we can click on select and mask and a whole box comes up over here on the right. And if you've watched the video on what to do with uh, the refined edges when you have a selection, you can see that this is actually not that different. Um, all those same tools are here, but they're kind of combined selecting and refining at the same time. So you can see this guy is kind of semi-transparent. That means I have nothing selected. Now I'm going to, let me cancel out of this for a second. I'm gonna turn on his background so we can see that background as we select. And I'm going to go back into Select and Mask. And uh, there's a little transparency slider that lets me kind of slide the transparency between the two objects. But let's just start uh, with what it looks like when I start by making a selection. So I'm going to start with, in my Select and Mask, I'm going to start with this Quick Select. Um, and I'm going to draw it over his face. And you can see he becomes very, very clear. Make sure you get this little edge down the bot back. And then make sure you get his nose as well. Um, and you can play with that transparency slider and bring on and off that background. That's what a mask is going to look like. Now you can see up here, watch up here around his hair, you can see that the hair kind of fades away, kind of fades back as I do that. The goal would be to have all of that hair actually showing. So the tool to do that here is this Refine Edges uh, brush, which again is in the old version, but this is just kind of the new look at it. And um, I'm going to Command Plus uh, or Control Plus to zoom in here. And um, I can use my bracket keys to get a bigger or smaller uh, look at this. Okay, so as I go up in the hair, it's looking for the edges within the area that I brush. And it does a pretty good job selecting it. I'm not going to go down the back of his head because um, it is going to cause some problems back there. Um, but I can keep just hitting this until it gets a pretty good transparency going here. Okay. Then I also have the brush tool here. And if uh, something is, should be inside the mask, I can actually just kind of brush it back in. So maybe I accidentally took a little bit too much out of his hair. I can brush it back in. This brush also works when maybe a little something too much is selected. So let me s zoom in here to his ma mouth. Um, you can see if I just kind of paint in there, it's going to keep selecting things from that original background. If I switch it to minus, um, I can minus out, I can subtract out some of that white paint that might be showing up. Oops, got a little bit of his lip. Let me switch back to plus and bring that back. So I've done all of this without actually doing any of the smoothing and the feathering and the contrast that you might have done a little more with the old version of this. So, um... I can still do that. I'm going to go ahead and smooth out that selection a little bit. I can feather it a bit, and you can see how he kind of becomes fuzzy on the edge. So anytime we feather, we're going to actually contrast at a slightly higher number uh, to bring that feather back. There's too much feather, so let me nudge that back. So I'm just looking for a pretty smooth-looking selection here. Let me nudge that feather all the way back. I don't like that at all. Um, we just want to kind of go around, make sure that um, there's nothing jaggy-looking anywhere. Um, I've lost part of his eyeglasses, so I'm going to use the brush, the plus brush, to kind of bring that back on. Okay, you can see that's where I am. Okay, switch to minus so I can get rid of some of this feathering in here. I really don't like a lot of the smoothing that I've done here, so I'm actually going to turn that smoothing all the way off. Now I'll nudge it up just barely. I'm going to put it at about two pixels there. Okay, um, I can shift edge if I want as well. Um, but once that selection, you know, it's the same thing. Once that selection is all done, um, I'm good to go. And I go down here to output, and I'm going to output it to the layer mask. Okay? So I click on OK. And now it's out there, and it's a mask here in the layers panel. Uh, just like I would before, I can zoom in on this guy. And if I need to use black paint, uh, black paint is going to hide something. So let's say I'm going to chop off his nose. Let me get a smaller brush here. I can paint away his nose, okay? Obviously that would be absurd. Let me turn my opacity and flow back up. You know, obviously that's absurd. Um, 
but um, you know, in his glasses here, if we wanted to clean those up a little bit more, I might need to use um, a little bit of white paint. Let me switch my color here. Use some white paint to paint the glasses back on a little bit because uh, we lost kind of part of them there. Got some orange showing through on the frames there, right? Um, let me switch it over to some white paint. I'm sorry, some black paint and get a real small brush and I can uh, delete out that part there. So um, the idea is to get a really, really clean selection. Back to white paint here. Uh, that looks really, really smooth, doesn't have any jagged edges. And this is a big craftsmanship issue when working with Photoshop. If you want to composite things together, you've got to do a really great job of getting these selections looking good.